Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss one more topic in data preparation that is pivot and then we will discuss live versus extract connection. Okay, so without any further delay, let's get started. So what is pivot and why we use pivot? So pivot is used to reshape your data for easy analysis or we can say pivot is used to transpose the data from cross tab to columnar format okay and we can perform pivot for more uh, two or more columns okay let's see how we can perform pivot select two or more column i'm selecting quantity and discount then right click on it and go for pivot so after pivot data is divided between two fields that is pivot field name and pivot field value pivot field names contains the name of the column that is being pivoted and becomes dimension pivot field value contains the value for that specific values okay as you can see discount value and the quantity value and become majors okay now we'll discuss live versus extract connection Tableau has two connections, one is live, second is extract. Okay, so what is the difference between live and extract? Live means directly make a connection with data source. If we get the latest of data, it will directly reflect in our data. Okay, extract means extract a subset of the data from the data sources. To get the latest data, we need to refresh it every time. But extract is fast as compared to live because we are only working on the subset of the data okay let let's take an example how live and extraction works let's see how we can use extract to use extract click on extract to add further information go to edit after clicking on edit you can specify how much data you want to extract let's suppose I want to extract data for furniture category click on ok you can add as much as column you want from the data you can specify aggregate data for visible dimension and you can set up roll up data up to year month quarter or day okay I'm not using this function as of now you can specify the incremental refresh or full refresh so what is the difference between incremental refresh and full refresh incremental refresh is like to add the new data in the existing existing data or full difference is replace the existing data with the new database okay you can specify the table you want to refresh you can specify the new rows using columns okay as of now i'm not using this function or you can specify the top values like how much uh, top rows you want to add or you can specify the samples data okay i'm not I'm, I'm not using this function as of now and click on okay when you click on sheet one it will ask you to save your extract so let's save it extract and click on okay so the extension of extract is dot hyper if you are using older version the extension will be dot td okay so click on save so you can see it will work more faster as compared to live so i'm using extract only for furniture so you can add all the details based on furniture or something so how to get the latest data in extract so there are three ways to get the latest data or we can say we can we, we can refresh the data to get the latest update there are three ways to refresh our data first one is click on our data source and go to refresh okay second one is click on data go for refresh all extract so what is the difference between refresh and refresh all extract refresh is used only to refresh the data for a single data source okay 
if you have multiple data source like you have sample superstore and other data data source also you can go for refresh all extract and and refresh all the data source at a single time okay click on refresh it will take some time to refresh that depends upon the number of data source you have and third one is this refresh option when you click on it you will get refresh data if you want to if you want to use live you can simply click on live and you will get all the details here okay when i click on so we have the data for all the category because we are working with the live connection okay this is how live versus extract works thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming video